The F-150 EcoBoost engine. It's built to give the F-150 more towing power than any other half ton. It's built to give it more torque than any competitive half ton. It's built Ford Tough. And now we're going to show the world just what that means. Watch as we take a randomly selected EcoBoost engine and run it through a series of grueling durability tests to prove how tough it is. In medieval times, they had machines like the Rack and the Iron Maiden. Today, we've got this, Dino Cell Block 36D. Here, engineers accelerate wear, replicating 10 years of hard use in 300 hours. And we learn about how our customers use our products. And then we take those and we, and we crank them to the extremes. So we go to the extremes of the temperatures, we go to the extremes of the loads and the speeds that we see. It won't take us 10 years, 150,000 miles. We can do it over the course of, of weeks or months. This dynamometer will simulate towing over 11,000 pounds up a grade steeper than Pikes Peak. The engine fatigue test runs the engine for over an hour at full throttle. And then there's thermal shock testing. It deep freezes the engine to minus 20 degrees, then shocks it to 230 degrees. You're putting a tremendous amount of heat into an engine block that's already very cold. It starts to expand in very bizarre ways. Stresses start to develop in the cylinder block. That's like going from the Arctic to Death Valley in 15 minutes. And they do it over and over and over. Constantly. There's no way that a customer could replicate the same things that we're doing. There's just no road in the world that they could drive on. There's no way they could get from the temperature extremes as fast as we're doing it. It's just not possible. The different tests cycle one after the other, hour after hour, day after day, for weeks. So we've simulated 150,000 miles on this engine. After we're done here, typically what we would do is tear down the engine, inspect it, make sure everything performed. But in this case, we're going to take it and ship it to Kansas City Assembly Plant, where it's going to go down the line just like all the other engines get installed in the truck. Now, after you put an equivalent of 150,000 miles like this on an engine, you might think that's proof enough. But we're just getting started because we're gonna take this same engine out into the real world for some real torture. <laughs> 